All right, so I want to I want to talk to you guys about something before we start training right now, because I know that there's a simple phrase that has been said to you at some point in your life that you have may even said to yourself or to someone else, and I want to erase that and replace it with something that gives you a lot more power than that that thing gives you. And so the phrase that I want to erase from our brains is, "There's always someone out there better. There's always someone better." Someone has said that to you at some point in your life. About anything. It doesn't have to be jujitsu. I'm not talking about jujitsu. Well, you know, there's always someone out there better. You may even say it to like like pretend to be humble after you do something dope. Like, oh I, I won, but you know, there's always someone out there better. That's I think that's broken, and I think it's wrong to do it yourself. Um, my mother never said anything like that to me. My mother gave me a phrase that has been able to give me a lot of personal power. I want to give that phrase to you, and you can do with it whatever you want. You can forget it; it can mean nothing to you, or it could, it could literally, it could change the whole way you think about every moment of your life. What my mother said to me is, she would have this little recall thing, it would be like a, a call and response, and she would say, "Who is better than you?" And I would say, "The only one who is greater than I is the me that I'm going to be. The only one who is greater than I is the me I'm going to be." She never put in my head the, 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 the idea that it was possible that someone out there is better than me, that this, like, this foreign creature who, like, outside of your experience, even though you're working really hard to be good at something, there's always someone out there better than you. That takes away the power from all the fucking hard work you do. And I don't think that's, that's something that you should have in your brain. So if you've ever said that to yourself, vow to yourself to never say that again. You're gonna, you're gonna take all the broken programming out of your brain because that prevents you from doing what you need to do. Like, it's not like I'm saying, like, you're a blue belt, go beat Hoffa Mendes. But here's what I'm actually saying. I'm literally saying you could. Because you have no idea what the best you can do. Like, I have no idea what the best me can do. Because there's never been a day in my life, in my experience, my personal experience, where I've woken up and done everything I could possibly do as best as I think I could possibly do it. And then gone to bed. And then woke up and did it again. You string days like that together. What if you did? What if you did? Then maybe a blue belt could fucking be hot. Maybe. Do you see what I'm saying? If you were the absolute best you could possibly be from sun up to sundown every day, who knows what you can do? But there's something about the whole universe that makes us it makes people want to put limits on us, and we're happy to accept these limits. Just like jujitsu guys are happy to accept sweeps that aren't acceptable. Happy to let takedowns go. Pulling guard. It's all the same shit. I don't want you to accept mediocrity. I want you to think about that when you train this. 